25th, 2021, 5.42. Fishing in the dark, take two. I can fish in two minutes, so I need to get the move on. So, if you can hear the rain, I'm gonna get soaked today. So don't kill yourself while you're trying to do this. Tip number one. away from the river in an attempt not to spook the fish. Okay. So I've got my actually upgraded to the next size up. I believe this is a size 8 Corky. I'm going to get it under my headlamp. Get it blowing. Be very careful about stepping out here. So kind of the plan is if I hook something, I'm gonna turn my headlamp on so I can see what the heck is going on. Alright, so one more time I'm gonna get this corky super lit up. There we go. Alright, here we go. I don't know, I'll do two casts before I I'm going to eliminate the quirk again. I can see it's Kind of losing its brightness. Okay, here we through this holding water. This rain is just ridiculous today. Holy moly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it came off. Dang it. <laughs> Dang! Oh, well, we got him stirred up. Let's see what happened here. Wow! Let me make sure my hook is still sharp. Yeah, it just came off. So I lost one fish right at dawn on a site. Eight, I believe. So I put on the size smaller since it's gotten light a little bit. Figure I might as well go down in size just a little bit. Alright, back in the saddle here. Drift fishing works really well for low light just because it's a field game. Oh, oh, 
there we go. There's another steelhead. Oh, it's a good fish too. Oh, ho, ho. holy moly. Oh man, it's running. It's running. Oh, I just got to keep pressure on it. Oh, it's way down in the tail out. I got to keep pressure on it. I don't want it to go down into this next run. All right. Reel down. Pull up. Okay, it's swimming up. It's swimming up. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Two in a row. Right at daylight, too. Coming back up into the hole. Man, it's windy. Thrashing around. Got 10 pound ultra green leader and 12 pound test as my main line. So I should be good as long as I can keep it up out of that bedrock. Okay, it's coming this way. I need to get my net, my back, just in case. Okay. Man, it sucks not having my glasses on. I just cannot see. <laughs> it's amazing how well those glasses do. In fact, once I get this fish dealt with, I can put my glasses on because it's lightened up a little bit. Come on, man. Almost there. Oh, right there. So close. By. I'm gonna kneel down into the water a little bit. I think once I get this thing close, if I can get one more this way, I think I can get it. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Stay down. I don't want you jumping around. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. Land in the net. Land in the net. See what we got. It's a tomato. Okay, so let's get this. This is letting it go. Look at this beautiful fish. And there she there he goes. Nice. Holy moly. So I'm glad I revisited this glow-in-the-dark corky fishing again. So like I pointed out in last week's video, what I'm using, it's a G Loomis. It's the 1045C. It's an 8 foot 8, medium heavy. It's 8 to 17 pound test. It's paired up with the Corrado 201. It's an old E7. I think this thing's probably 10 years old now. I've got 12 pound test, CX. It's a... Uh, that kind of clear blue fluorescent, so that's kind of nice. Just like. And what I'm rolling here, I've got a sliding snap swivel on my main line. 
a bead so that protects that knot on my barrel swivel. Got a number 10 Roscoe barrel swivel. Actually, this is a number seven. And then I've got about 24 inches of ultra green 10 pound test. This is a number one octopus hook with a size 10 glow in the dark corky. Since it's still kind of dark, I'm gonna keep using this corky. Once it lightens up a little bit, I turn to a rocket red or a pink curl. All right, let's hope for number three here. It's just like bead fishing, except you're fishing on the bottom. And the corky's buoyant, so it lifts up close to that hook. Oh, is that another one? Oh no, it's going up there. There must just be some moss or something out there. Try to keep your rod tip at about eye level so you not only can you... Oh, there we got another one. And we got another one. Okay, I think we got it. Three in a row. It's insane. Yeah, there must be a pot of them sitting in here. Oh, oh, angry. My glasses are fogging <laughs> I like the shorter rod, the eight foot eight, just for the feel. But I like a longer rod so I can high stick it to keep them off these shelves. All right, we're coming this way. Coming this way. Oh, no, stop, stop, oh. <laughs> and we're hung up again. Oh, no. It's just incredible to feel the power of these fish. It's like they are in control. That last fish I caught was probably six pounds or so. But that thing was in complete control. I just have to kind of go when it wants to give in. I give, I pull in some line. If it wants to take line, it takes it. It's staying down. I'm guessing it's another buck. Oh, it's running. Oh, it's wanting to run. Oh, it's jumping. Nice. Okay, we're coming back, we're coming back. Now that I can see the bottom, put my glasses on, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit closer with it. Man, that thing's strong. Oh, it's hitting the bedrock. So I'm high sticking it a little bit. I'm gonna move out just a little bit. I don't wanna to get too deep. Try to increase that angle so I don't get sheared off on that shelf. Okay, it's coming over. It's coming over. Oh, it's 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 rubbing on that shelf. It's never a good thing. Oh, I, it just came off. <laughs> Dang it! Oh well came off so it just came unpinned so the longer these hooks are stuck in the corner of their mouth the bigger that hole becomes and eventually once in a while with drift fishing the, these octopus ho hooks just work their way out but hey I'm not gonna complain that was a fun fight well that was a success my goal was just to hook some fish before it got light I started fishing not quite an hour before sunrise, but I got three hookups when it was still pretty dark. I couldn't put even, 
put my sunglasses on, I couldn't really even wade because I couldn't really see what was going on under the surface. But three hookups, landed one. I had one on for a significant amount of time and ended up losing it, just came unpinned. And the first one I hooked actually was only on for probably about 15 seconds, I would guess. It jumped a couple times, it was bright silver. I hope that footage turns out well. So it's just an opportunity to extend your fishing time. Maybe you get one opportunity, one hookup before it's, before it's light outside. Like Weather Channel and some of the other weather apps will, will list sunrise and sunset times. It changes every day. So make sure that you know what time you can start fishing. If these tips are helpful, make sure to hit subscribe. Turn on the notification bell that lets you know when I put out new fishing videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and hit the like button if I earned it. So I'll see you on the next one.